Okay, so our friend Carlo is on his way all the way from Monaco slash Saudi Arabia. So I met, met him in Saudi Arabia when we went out there for that event. He said, Ryan, I want you to build me an Eleanor. So we built him an Eleanor. But what I'm concerned about is he said, I think I have a couple changes I want to do to it. And I'm like, you haven't even seen it yet. Why don't you wait till you see it before you want to make changes? He's like, no, 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 I have some changes. So let's see what he's got to say. Carlo Boutage here at Twistos Customs in LA. Ryan did a beautiful job with this car, but unfortunately I don't want a movie car, I want my own car, and it needs to be blue, like everything else <laughs> that I own. I can't wait to come back here and pick it up when it's all my colors with my car, or actually he should uh, deliver it to me in Monaco for the Formula One race. That's what I'm gonna be expecting, him to bring it to Monaco for F1. All right, so today was a crazy day. We were delivering a car, and instead of having our client take it, he left it with us instead. So, we're gonna change this thing up. Carla wants to make the interior all leather, wants to make the exterior a totally different color and scheme, so we're gonna get on it. Right now, Moscow and the guys have the car back in the bay, and they're already breaking it down, so. Here we go, part two. Vamos a empezar ya a hacer los asientos del Mustang Eleanor. Todo va a ser customized con piel azul. Este es un diseño vintage. Los asientos estos va a tener un interior entre piel y suey. El, el insert va a ser de suey. En el suelo le vamos a poner unos granes de pulgada y media, que es algo que, que va a resaltar mucho el trabajo. Y aparte va a llevar unas, eh, una costura doble en la orilla, también color azul. Y eso es para que resalte más el trabajo y, y darle un, un, un toque deportivo.
So we're moving along on this Mustang build, part two. Javier has got it almost there with the interior. I think it looks epic. I love all the rivets in the seats. He's done a great job with the blue leather versus the suede. It's phenomenal, it's gorgeous. The guys in the paint and body department, they're doing their job too. They're working hard. So they've got this thing prepped. They're getting ready to roll it right into the booth right now, get some primer on here and round two with the paint. I've seen the color, the color is sick. I absolutely love it. So I'm excited to see what this thing looks like. I just can't believe we're doing it again, but the client gets what the client wants. Ok, el color ya está listo, vamos a empezar a sprayar las primeras manos. Vamos a llevar entre 4 a 5 capas de pintura. Ya después de esto, que tiremos la base, vamos a empezar a, a tirar las líneas. Uh, normalmente igual llevan dos, eso va a ser original. Lo único que vamos a cambiar va a ser el color, un color custom azul y las líneas blancas. Okay, so what I'm doing now, I'm making sure the wipers are working, which is working now fine, they're good. From here, I'm gonna make sure to plug in the speedometer cable. Um, after this, I'm gonna jump to the radio, do the radio. Tail lights are working, headlights are working. Just finishing the dash. After that, I'm gonna go and put in the ignition switch. Okay, so the moment is here, but it's really not here because 
I'm supposed to be unveiling this Mustang in Monaco, but now I'm unveiling it here at West Coast Customs for my client on FaceTime. Because of the COVID-19, we're kind of stuck in this situation where F1 was canceled, any kind of travel is canceled. So I'm not going to Monaco, you're not going to Monaco. So we're gonna do it here. The car's ready, I'm excited to show it to him. So hopefully we can ship it out to him today. So you ready? How's everything with you, man? We're good, yeah. you know, holding it, holding it together. I'm just excited to show you this car. Like when, when we first finished it, I was bummed. I was bummed, you know, like, oh my God, you don't like it? You're like, no, I like it. I just want it to be my car. So, so here's your, this is your car now. This is Carlos Eleanor. Boom. Whoa, I love it. That, yeah, that color is amazing. We're gonna name this color for you. Cause we've never, we've never painted anything this color. See that, it's hard to see, but can you see it's like a purple blue? You guys obviously know how it started, which was gray, black stripes, the original Eleanor Gone in 60 Seconds look. Well, Carlo came and he's like, you guys did a great job, but I want it to be my car. So we started with taking the whole car apart, sanding it down, painted it this beautiful, it's like a bluish purple, it's hard to see, but when you see it out in the light, it's amazing. It, we did the white stripes on it. We actually repainted his wheels to a lighter silver because they were gunmetal gray before. And then of course the interior. One of his biggest, not really complaints, but thoughts were, Ryan, I don't want to feel any plastic when I open the car. Like I don't want to touch the door panel and feel plastic. We wrapped all of the plastic in leather with some suede accents. When you look in this now, it is officially Carlo's Mustang. Now it's gonna go on an airplane. It's gonna go on an airplane and it's Carlos Eleanor. Nobody else's. Thank you. All right. Yeah, not Nicholas. No. <laughs> All right, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Take care, man. Bye bye. Bye.